Hi everybody. Today we're going to draw a ballerina wax cap and then use coloured pencils to put some texture and some colour onto the image. I'm just going to show you a close-up of the image. I've drawn it out very loosely. Just the outline, nice and simple. Okay, the ballerina wax cap is pink in colour and the cap of the wax cap splays out as it matures, which is how it got its name because it looks like a sort of ballerina skirt. So just get yourself a piece of plain paper, cartridge paper. Um, it can be photocopying paper if you haven't got any cartridge. And just draw out this very simple structure here. And then we're going to look about as to how to put colour on. So, because we're going to use a series of pinks, we're going to use a lovely set of um, coloured pencils here. They're Faber-Castell uh, coloured pencils. Um, you can use any coloured pencils you've got. I mean, you can buy them anywhere these days, online, in shops. Um, I've got lots that I've had given to me. So um, you don't necessarily have to have a, a huge set like I've got here, but it is useful to have some different colours available um, so that you've got a choice. You can mix colours, however, and I will show you how to do that. So the first thing that we need to think of is what sort of pinks we've got. So I've got a, a nice pink here. Okay, this is number 319. These are quite useful because they're numbered, which means you can buy them again if you like them. So I'm just going to take the pink and I'm just going to use the side. I'm going to hold my pencil along its length rather than really uptight like this, like you're writing. You want to just hold it along its length so that you're using it almost on the side. Um, so you can see I'm using the whole length of the lead. And I'm just going to colour that in really quickly. And I'm going to do the same on both mushrooms on the caps. And we're just going to fill those surfaces in. Keep your pencil shading technique going in the same direction for now. Okay, if you can. I mean, there are edges here where you might need to sort of change the direction, but we're just blocking out those caps. So the ballerina wax cap is a very rare fungi. Um, we've, they do have some on the one last reserve at the National Botanic Gardens. Um, and they found them just recently. So they've been working very hard to encourage more of the wax caps. Um, the stalk itself is also a very pale pink so we're just going to again use the side of your pencil. If you use the, I'm just going to turn the sheet over, if you use the top of the pencil what happens is you end up with lines like this and sometimes they're quite difficult to get rid of as in to blend whereas if you use the side of your pencil it's a lot softer and it'll give you the chance to blend a bit more so I'm going to use the series of pinks that I've got here now what do you do if you haven't got these pinks so if you haven't got them what you can do is use the reds that you've got in your um, set you're likely to have reds very likely and um, probably a series of reds and what you can do is put the red down and then use a white pencil to turn it into pink 
So you put the red down. I'll do a little bit of that in a minute. Um, so I can show you how to blend colours together just in case you don't have these shades that I've got here in my set. And we're just using the same direction um, mark making here with the pencil to create that softness of colour. And we're just going to look very carefully at where the shadows are falling and where the highlights are. And we're using a darker pink here. This is a number 325. Uh, and that will give us our shadows. So I'm just looking at the shadows and the darker areas of this ballerina wax cap. And I'm just putting those in. So it's basically building up shadows and highlights so you might find that you need to put a little bit more of this pink in because we've got a we will have a highlight on the top of this wax cap i've got a sort of fleshy tone here which i'm just going to try okay so use the different colors that you've got in your set and see how they work. You can always rub them out. Coloured pencil can be rubbed out. It can also be rubbed in with your finger to blend it like you would with a normal pencil. You can also use watercolour pencils. Okay, so that's how we're going to build it up. The stalk is much lighter than the, the cap of the ballerina wax cap. So keep that as light as you can. If you've got a white, I've got a white then you can see that this pink, this is my lightest pink actually. So I'm gonna lighten it up by just adding some of this white. And you can see that the white will blend the pink that's already blocked in, in, and will create a lighter tone to your work. So again, just rub that over and it will almost act, act like a blending tool. You can also do a curved motion like this with your pencil and that will give you a little bit of 3D feel. So if I show you that with a darker pencil like this. So if you do a curved motion like that then you'll get the feeling of the form coming through in the same way that if you do a curved mark here like that then you'll also get a little bit more of that 3d feel coming through okay so keep your marks like I said, going in one direction. However, if you want to intensify marks, then this is how you do it. So go in one direction, whatever that is. We've been currently working from top right to bottom left like this. If you want to darken it up, all you need to do is change direction, move your hand and go diagonally across those marks. This is called cross hatching. OK, that will intensify your marks. I just want to show you how to make a pink. So I've got a dark red here. This is number 327. So if we put the red down, this is just in case you don't have pinks. And then you add your white and it could be any colour. It could be yellow, it could be white. Then that will eventually soften to become more pink like with that addition of white you can see that that's changing color now okay so you can use the pencils to blend together in the same way that if you don't have a an orange you can put some red down not that we're using orange today but i'll just show you and then add a yellow oh. and then you can sort of get an orange coming through okay so try some different mark making cross hatching you can use dots you can use heavy lines, light lines, gentle shading.
Okay, so that was time lapsed and I've pretty much done what I want to do. I've got highlights, shadows. I put a little tiny bit of blue here just to make it a little darker. I put some blue on the stems and some grey on the stems and I've done the curved mark making there. I've made sure that I've left light areas to catch the light. Um, you can add darker tones in there if you want to. And I'm just taking a uh, number 372 uh, pencil and I'm just going to put in some foliage at the bottom. And if you work in layers, so you do some small, some large, some dark, and then take up some paler green. And again, if you haven't got different shades of green, just use one shade and then lighten it with a yellow, darken it with a blue. So you put the yellow down, let's see. So you can put the yellow down like this. And you can just build up as much grass or as little grass as you want there. So have a look out for it on the one last um, estate. And it comes from late August through to early December. And I'll see you next time.